Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 612. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and then click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 608 to 612. And this trick here, we're following up on 610 and uh, 611. We're doing year over year sales and showing the percentage change uh, between the two years. However, unlike the last two videos where our data set had real dates, so it was easy to do a formula or a pivot table, here the dates came in as text. So here we have, we, we can't uh, use a pivot table grouping feature and extract uh, a year and month from this because it's not a serial date. And the type of formula we did in 611 won't work here because it's text. Ultimately, if we're doing year over year, right, we have some nines, and down here we have some tens. We need to get a year that says 2000, or somehow extract this, because right now, um, yeah, we, we're going to add a new column, and somehow it'll say nine, 2009 here and 2010 here. Let's go ahead and add a new column. I'm going to say year. Add some formatting there, perhaps, just to let us know that this is a uh, field, field name. Whoops. I'm going to do a formula. I always like to, if I'm doing data sets, I like to have a different color to say this is a formula, this is raw data. All right, now, pattern, right? Anytime you're doing um, something like this, you need to recognize a pattern. Now, here we're lucky. Every single two digits from the right are the year, so 09, 10, right? So let's just use the right function, equals right. I'm going to say, hey, this is the text, and the text, the number of characters I want from the right is two. We want two characters. Double click and send it down. Now that that's just fine, and actually right now we could build our, our pivot table with this, because we have a category, right? Nine. 10, but I'd like to amend this to show 2,000, so I'm going to hit F2. And just at the beginning, I'm going to type the number 20 and Shift 7 for ampersand. Ampersand is the join symbol. Some people call it concatenate. Control Enter. We have joined 2,000, uh, the number 20, with our um, extracted numbers from the right. Now we have our categories. Now to do our pivot table, we go Insert. Pivot table, pivot table. If you're doing the keyboard shortcuts, it's Alt N V T N V T. Now on this one, we're gonna um, plop it in this existing sheet right here. Let's say we put it right here. I'm gonna click on that cell. Click OK. Now I'll have to scoot this over. We have everything I need. Uh, now we're gonna take our year and do it to our row labels. Actually, let's do it up to column. Back in uh, 610, right, we had to group, but now we have a category called year. Now we're going to drag our sales down here once and twice. Close this. We're going to, uh, in the last video, we used the um, value field, field settings to change the name, but watch this. I can just type in this, the cell here, sales. That is the same name as one of the fields, so we can't do that, so we have to put a space. When I hit Enter, watch here. All right, and we're going to call this one percent, percent change. Hopefully I spelled it right. And then those changed. I'm going to um, right-click Value Field Settings. I had to go there anyway, but number formatting, and I'm going to say maybe currency. No decimals. I don't need to see the pennies. Click OK, click OK. Now let's change this, just like we did in a couple of videos ago, value field settings, except for in that video we did value field settings and show values as, and we do percentage of. Year is the base field, nine is the base item, but in 2010, you can go to options and under calculations, now I gotta, whoops, I gotta pull my screen wider here because you gotta see this, this is very cool. Under options, calculations, uh, let me move it over here. All right, let's see if I can get it wide enough here. 
Ah, there we go. So totally cool. They move this up right to the ribbon. Show value as. And there's a bunch of new ones. I've already done one video on some of the new features, but there we want it. Percentage of. And it just pops up. Totally convenient. You don't have to go down right click and everything. The year and 2009, it even guessed correctly. There we have our for um, percentages, 100%, um, 117. I'm going to right click value field settings, go down to number percentage. I don't want to see any decimals. Click OK. I'm going to click up here, design. I'm going to go to layout and say show tabular. That will show me the field name up there. And then again, we want grand totals, none off for everything. And then I control and roll. And there we have our um, year over year um, sales and the percentage change and we did that all when our date original date column month and uh, year came in as text all right we'll see you next trick